In the land of Midgard hides a secret domain underneath its rocks and mud. There, deep in the earth, hidden away from the light of day, is a hero that has been cursed with such a life as to never be able to bask in the sun's rays. This unseemly hero's name is Planna Loki, son of the god Loki and his dark elf mother that died at his birth. Wanting to claim his birthright as a half-god and reach his full potential as a son of Loki, Planna Loki ventures out to find his calling. First he tries as what is typical for a dark elf. He tries to be a bringer of nightmares unto men, women and children. He sneaks into the house of soundly sleeping humans and proceeds to sit on their chests and whispers in Scandinavian thoughts that would scare any mortal being. <laughs> Feeling amused, Planaloki gets off his target only to realize that the human was in fact crushed beneath his great weight, never hearing his harrowing words. Failing at this, he returns to his hole in the ground before the sun rises on another day. Hearing about his father's promiscuous ways, Planaloki decides that meeting other family can bring him closer to his father. By pure coincidence, he met his brother that was created from the eye of Odin, Larek, who then was able to tell the tale of all the deeds and evil ways of their mischievous father, Loki. Having joined together, Vladek and Planaloki begin their own adventure to find their father, traveling above ground at night and underground by day so as not to kill Planaloki. They find their father bound by entrails of another son that had betrayed him. Loki then tells his sons, Exact revenge on Odin, and I will make you both full gods. To gain justice, the two sons leave their father in search of poor Grimo, an ice giant from the land of Niflheim. He alone holds on to a power that the two can use to aid them, but finding a place on Midgard to summon the ice giant is a problem. Only from the highest and coldest peak can he be called from the land of ice. So Vlarek uses his eye to peer across the land for the perfect mountain. After discovering a peak that might be suitable to summon Borgrimal, the two brothers head towards it. You'll never make it. On their travels, a dark cloud starts to follow them, seeming as an ominous omen. You're a failure! Your daddy doesn't love you. He's lying to you. He will never make you gods. Your mother. You're ugly. You suck at being a dark elf. You are so ugly. The woman's voice scolds them and attacks their very center of being, making them slow their pace to a crawl being so thoroughly depressed. Now nearing the peak, the two must cross a desert as the cloud provides no relief from the intense heat. Lizard, son of fire, how is it that you are able to survive out here? No, I'm evaporating. My name is Ivan, son of Sutra. I'm sorry for my appearance was misleading, but that cloud was following you, and it was in fact the woman known as Thero. She was attacking your minds and spirits, making you feel bad for all the bad that we are going to. After crossing the desert bowl, the two men climb up the mountain top and summon forth the great ice giant Borgrimo. What mortal of this realm has summoned me? Vladik, stepping forward, proclaims that he and his brother, Planaloki, have come to him to seek aid in getting their revenge for their father. This is all you will need, boys. Go! Release your father, Loki! We must go back to Aiden. He can help us. So, this is what we got. 
Can you melt this and uh, reveal its true power to us? Oh, this thing? Yeah, sure, I'll melt it for you. But keep it away from me. The waters that froze this are from Nephilim, and it will surely destroy me if it touches me. Standing atop a chair, Aiden focuses all his heat into one fiery blast and melts the ice leaving. Only its hidden contents. A pair of shears used to first cut the world into existence. The brothers, now with the weapon of Odin's destruction in hand, return to their father. You must free your older brother, Fenrir, the giant wolf that has been bound by the Glefnir, a magical cloth created by the Dark Elves. Secretly, the two cut into the magical bindings and release Fenrir, who then gives the two a right to Asgard, where he then devours Odin and bites off the bindings on Loki. Loki, now being free, is able to give his sons the power of the gods. Most importantly, to his son Planaloki, he makes it to his so his son can finally bask in the light of day without turning into stone like the other dark elves. Having succeeded at their task, the mixed family of gods now reside in Asgard, bringing doom upon the world as they all wanted to do, but are now unstoppable until the time of Ragnarok.